Welcome everyone, this is Zozo Stockwatch, and this is your Stockwatch list for Thursday, August 31st. Let's take a look at the futures real fast, the overnight futures session, and it is currently, uh, my time, 9.36. Uh, the Dow futures up 34, the S&P futures up 3, and the NASDAQ futures up 12. Uh, with good economic information coming out of China tonight, uh, they beat on their uh, number estimates. So uh, China moving the markets and the futures up tonight. Uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, we'll take a look at today's top gainers, uh, OHGI, LINU, SCVL, AVAV, ITCI. Actually, I played this one today for myself. Uh, MZOR, FTEK, OLED, BSFT, uh, NBEV, INCY, USCR. USCR was a monster move today. Uh, for the downside, OTC, OTIC, uh, they failed with the FDA. Uh, ROKA, RTNB, BNED, uh, that was an earnings miss there. IMNP, uh, Dries crushed today. Uh, she just disappeared, Dries, you know. FRO, VRA, HRB, uh, DY, MDCO, and GSM all to the downside. Um, for our uh, mar market wrap letter from the courtesy of the trade exchange, some call option activity in CAL, CSCO, CVNA, Carvana, CVRR, DFS, HIMX, uh, LITE, PYPL, PayPal, SUM, and this one was also mentioned on uh, Fast Money by the Nigerian Brothers, uh, V for Visa, VLO, Refiners, Wendy's, uh, WFT, all unusual call activity in those names. To the put side, not too much, just Siena, C-I-E-N, and that was for unusual call activity. Uh, we're going to go right into it, and we're going to get into the Wednesday, uh, sorry, Thursday, Thursday. Uh, these are the numbers that came out for Wednesday night. Uh, the 9 p.m., the PMI China numbers came out uh, tonight. Uh, for Thursday, we have chain store sales. Uh, we also have some numbers coming out of Europe, CPI, PPI, France, uh, Germany, unemployment, things like that for uh, the overnight, overnight session. Uh, for uh, the 8.30 reports, we have personal income, initial jobless claims, uh, Chicago PMI at 9.45, 10 o'clock pending home sales. Uh, Nat Gas is tomorrow at 10.30. Uh, and then let's see if there's anything else. Uh, nothing major for the U.S. markets. Uh, at 8.30 tomorrow night, we have Japanese PMI. And then 9.45, uh, China PMI also for Thursday night, and that's for August 31st. And then Friday, don't forget the employment situation. Also, don't forget we're going into a three day weekend, so don't expect too much from Friday after the employment situation numbers come out, the non farm payrolls numbers. So that's uh, some of your look at the uh, information coming out for tomorrow. Let's take a look at some earnings coming out for tomorrow for Thursday uh, before the bell. We have that C-I-E-N, we have uh, Campbell Soup, CP, CPB, uh, Dollar General, DG, uh, T-I-T-N, M-E-I-L-E. After the bell, we have AMBA, A-M-B-A-C-O-O-L-U-L-U, -L -U -L -U, that's Lulu, and uh, T-E-C-D. So those are some of your earnings coming out um, before and after the bell tomorrow. Uh, for your earnings call from earningscast.com, uh, here's your calls for tomorrow, 8 a.m. You see them listed here. Uh, our mags will be on a conference call uh, for earnings at 9.30, M-A-G-S. Uh, Campbell Soup at 8.30, Siena at 8.30 a.m. As we move on through the day, Dollar General at 10 o'clock. And then we also have in the afternoon, we have Palo Alto Networks, P-A-N-W, uh, A-M-B-A, Lulu uh, with the earnings call at 430. And you can see the rest there. I'll leave it up for a second or so. And we'll go ahead and get right into that, uh, uh, the markets and uh, some of the bigger names and then the watch list. So in some news uh, after the bell tonight, some top insider purchases, ANCX, uh, MTSI, Tiffany Director purchased over 48,000 shares. Ulta Director purchased uh, over uh, 2K. Uh, Ulta Director purchased uh, 480 uh, shares. 
uh, SJM, SIX, and CRZO. You see the purchases there and SXCP. Uh, so those are your top insider purchases after hours, 100K or more. Uh, for the syndicate news, we had a LMB S3, MPLX uh, S3, NSTG S3, OTEX S3, and SRE S3. And um, let's see, after hours uh, headlines, Expedia uh, announces new CEO, EXPE, Bristol Myers came out with some news, MVIS announces a 3.1 million investment from current shareholder so there's some news and then disney came out disney preparing significant budget cuts at abc tv group unit including cutting up to 10 percent of jobs uh, that's from reuters and cnbc for uh, disney so that's some news that came out uh, after the bell tonight so let's go ahead and we'll take a look at some of the markets real fast um, so we can have a good understanding what's going on. You see the uh, SPY is breaking up over that uh, support spot there. I'm sorry, the resistance spot here and the 20 SMA. Uh, we came up off the 100. We held above this 240, the 242. We held above the trend line. And, uh, you know, bear, uh, bears are just not showing up. They couldn't break us down and bulls are taking us up. So the SPY, a uh, very nice candle here. Uh, you know, next level is, you know, the highs from today. Uh, so uh, we had 246.32. So you figure 246.50. And uh, then we'll see where they want to take us tomorrow. Uh, let's take a look at the Qs. Uh, very strong here, starting to push up and out. Uh, we are getting near that upper Bollinger Band, though. Just keep that in mind. That's why I have it on the charts right now. Uh, so we'll see how that's going to play out. But we are getting over uh, this resistance line here for the Qs. Very strong in the Qs. Uh, the IWM, uh, you know, getting back above the fast moving averages, the 10, uh, trying to clear, you know, it came, it was below the trend line now coming up to the uh, trend line here. We'll see if that acts as resistance at that 139 spot on the IWM. Uh, we are back above the 200 SMA, the green line right there on the IWM. For the IWC, the micro caps, uh, you see that's coming up to the 100 SMA. So we'll see if we can uh, power through that or is that going to be a resistance spot on that uh, 100 SMA, which is currently at uh, 86.79. So we'll call it 87. So watch that 87 on IWC. The Dow Jones, the Dow Jones 30. Uh, you know, uh, coming up to the 20 SMA, we fouled it here, fouled it here. Uh, you know, it looks like we have a little bit of indecision there at the uh, 20 SMA on the uh, Dow Jones. Let's see if it can get over that, uh, what, 21,900 uh, spot and for the Dow Jones. So that'll be a test. Uh, let me see if there was any other markets. Um, not really for markets, but uh, we'll look at the USO. And uh, that's still trending down on the USO. Looks like it's coming down to that 925 spot again. XOIL, the uh, light sweet crude WTI, also trending down, down at that lower Bollinger Band. Uh, still not down at that 43 level where, uh, you know, here is where everybody thought, you know, oil was going to 30. And of course, it fakes everybody out, pops. Now we're in about the middle of the range. So I would say that 45 spot is important. And uh, we'll see what it wants to do uh, if it gets down to that 45 spot. As far as uh, some of your bigger names, we'll just take a quick look at uh, Apple. Uh, we'll also, uh, you know, looking very strong, you know, very, very strong breaking out here on Apple. Uh, no complaints there. If you're an Apple holder, uh, Amazon, uh, even with the buyout, you know, holding above this 950 area again, trying to break out above the, uh, you know, this trend line here and get back above it uh, still has the still has the 50 up above. So Amazon, you know, taking a pause, well deserved uh, with the Whole Foods market uh, buyout and whatnot. Google. Um, that one is popping, you know, uh, came down to the lower Bollinger Band, came down to about that 900 area, now trying to get back over the 50 SMA. So, you know, Google looking okay. Facebook, um, we've been talking about this uh, 165, 166 area, and now it's breaking out over this resistance. So Facebook looking very strong. Netflix uh, also um, 
looking very good. We held the 50, held the 50, uh, the fake uh, breakout below the 50, and then they push it up. So, you know, everybody got short here, and uh, they said, oh, broke below the 50 SMA, and then uh, they took it back up. And you have to be careful with stocks that are above the 200 SMA because they do like to do that. You know, they are strong. They like to give a lot of fake outs to the shorts here, and then they pop it up. So Netflix, look, Netflix looking very strong. Tesla uh, also uh, trying to get back over the 20 SMA. Uh, we're at, what, 353 uh, you know, for Tesla, uh, we have a high here, 356. You know, if they get over 357 uh, on the Tesla, I think it'll just continue back up through 360 on uh, Tesla. Uh, any other big names? You know, NVIDIA, I got to take a look at NVIDIA. It's a leader now, and, uh, you know, it's just consolidating right now below that 170 range. Not much damage done, holding above the 50 SMA. Uh, AVGO, they had earnings, they got sold off, but it's pulling back down to that uh, 100 SMA right here and holding. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Uh, Baba uh, pulled back and they came in and bought it today. So they're very strong stock. This thing is probably going to go and make new highs above 180 on Baba. Little Baba, AABA, um, pulled back, back above the 10 SMA now. So keep your eye on that one, AABA. Um, and lastly, I think we have um, Amazon, Apple, Amazon, Baba, did that, did that. Um, that's it. You know, that. leave it at that, and we'll go ahead and get into the watch list. We'll go right into the watch list. I'm going to keep it short because it is a holiday week. Uh, you know, tomorrow will probably be the last big trading day. But keep your eye on this uh, ADMP. Uh, trying to break out over this uh, 550 spot on ADMP. And let me take off these um, these Bollinger Bands so it uh, be easier for you guys to see. So there's that 550 mark, and I'll just kind of extend that over. So keep your eye on that one. Uh, AMD, uh, once again, you know, came down to the 200, 200, 200, 200 SMA, you know, and uh, people say, why do you put moving averages on your charts? Uh, here we held the 200 SMA, here, 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 and now we're trying to bounce up off the 200 SMA. Keep an eye on it, ARCI, uh, very strong, you know, held this 5 EMA above the 10 SMA, perking up, looking for that $1.50 break on ARCI. I don't even know what they do, specialty retailer. Uh, so if anybody knows, put it in the comments. Uh, DIOD, semiconductor name, trying to break out here. And you see it's clearing this uh, resistance right here, right? Clearing above this resistance. So keep your eye on that one. Maybe a red to green move or maybe a continuation move. GGB, this is a steel name. Uh, over 375, this could get interesting. 9 million shares on GGB. So I think that's a Brazilian name, GGB. H-E-A-R, uh, uh, if you like these under $1 names, it did get a pop today. Volume was about 200,000 shares. So we'll call it expanding volume. All right, expanding volume, but not great volume, but under a dollar uh, name. So check it out. Uh, JP, uh, this one trying to get back over $12 a share on JP. So that looks interesting. L-I-N-U. Uh, this one, another specialty re retailer. I have no idea what they sell. Uh, trying to get back over this 300 SMA. But you see, it failed it here. So, you know, this one would have to clear like uh, 2, I will call it 235, maybe even 240. You know, you see these topping tails here. So I don't like that. Uh, and the 300 is in the in the way so not a favorite but you know anything can happen LKQ LKQ you see this nice uh, consolidation here on the name on LKQ so let's see if they can get it over 3450 on this name and uh, auto parts name and uh, maybe a continuation move there LOXO uh, nice looking for follow through through uh, maybe uh, 79.50 uh, let's see what the high was on this name today uh, 79.68 so maybe 79.55 is enough to get that LOXO moving and continuing up looks like a strong chart uh, LYV uh, turning back up came down to the 20 SMA here the red line now we're looking for the continuation move 
uh, we have a previous high uh, this high at 3957 then we have a previous high 3963 so 3975 I would see if it can clear for that possible you know $40 break again so LYV uh, next up we have a uh, monster and we talked about this in previous videos and uh, see if this wants to take out uh, 56 bucks a share on a monster for a continuation move I mean it's had a great run not a favorite though uh, soda this one a little more a favorite uh, over 61 6105 on the name see what this uh, 61 right so over 6105 uh, maybe you get a continuation move in soda anybody remember that when this was what like uh, yeah like 11 14 dollars a share and now it's traded in the 60s right wow amazing uh sq looking for that uh the high of day 25.91 so over 26 uh, if you want to try it a little bit earlier you know 25.85 on sq uh you see the run that uh, paypal had so sq may want to join the party here nice charts holding this 25 area so keep your eye on sq uh twitter maybe it moves with sq you know maybe it gets a fire it needs to get over like 1710 uh the 200 sma right now is 1708 so maybe 1715 uh maybe twitter gets going uh to fill this gap but uh you know a lot of my uh longer term moving averages are there uh and it's you see it's right at this 200 green line the sma right here so that's the battle so it needs to get over that 200 sma vstm nice volume pop let's see if this one does a red to green or follow through obvious number here is that four dollar number on a vstm wprt uh may want to continue up through that 250 watching it and then we had a reason another high at uh, 254 so watch it over 250 252 for WPRT next up we have XXII and uh, this one has been holding steady uh, I guess they're gonna make have the technology to make the nicotine cigarettes with less nicotine in it is that the whole story here uh, so you know maybe over let's see what that number 235 watch 235 on this uh, xxii for possible move uh, over 1 million shares yelp we've been talking about it uh, looks like it may do that 43 break uh, we have 4297 watch yelp over that uh, 43 uh, looks very nice nice setup here moving averages all uh, beneath it the five EMA so uh, watch for that uh, break YRD spoke about this one in yesterday's video now we're looking for that $40 break on a YRD China name uh, the high today was a uh, 40 bucks even so keep your eye on a YRD for the continuation of $40 all right folks that's all I have for you tonight thank you very much for the support of the channel on YouTube and uh, good trading tomorrow. Don't forget it is holiday, three-day weekend coming up. And uh, so I don't expect much from Friday after those uh, payroll numbers come out. So don't overtrade. Uh, trade smart. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great evening.